Okay, so... <laughs> just ruin my cool entrance like that then? Fine. It was funny. I was just like, you know, that game where you bop the weasel? It was so tempting. <laughs> Please don't, don't hit me. Stop. <laughs> See if she goes back down. Nope, she's not going anywhere. All right, I guess we're stuck with her. <laughs> All right, you ready? So this one, I was really excited about. She totally ruined my, ruined my vibe. But it's fan art. And so I'm going to get it. <laughs> no, you're not. It's mine. <laughs> I will fight you for this. Ready then? I guess. Go ahead. Be on my side, okay? Oh my gosh. You can't bribe it right in front of... And <laughs> I will fight you for this. Ready then? I guess. Go ahead. Be on my side, okay? Oh my gosh, you can't bribe it right in front of. Is, does that mean that's both of ours? Yes. Is, does that mean that's both of ours? Yes. Awesome. Book, so we both win. <laughs> book insert or book art? At that uh, point, we did both already, so now you can't choose. No, it was. Well, last time we did book art, so does that mean we have to do book insert now? No, we did both, so now we get to flip the coin and let, oh, let oh, the fates okay. decide. Your turn to flip it. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> Tails is book art, heads is book in insert. Book art, cool, so. <laughs> Wait. Yes? Does that mean that we can do another, like, Overlay insert? Page? Probably. So are we going to or... do like an overlay? Are we going to do a four edge painting? <gasps> we could do a four edge painting of our favorite books. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do a four edge yeah. painting. I did I... it for my vlog I with the Harry Potter series. That. Now we have, now Jay, <laughs> Jay will paint the her favorite book, which is, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we I have it. a we lot have of to, favorite books. We have books. to debate on what books we want to do. And it can only be one book this time. Because I did all seven for the yeah, Harry that, Potter that's one. That's so a lot. That was a lot. So we have to well, pick one Well, the problem is, is that technically my favorite fandom, sorry guys, is Harry Potter. I, I am obsessed with Harry Potter. But I like the fan fiction more than I like the canon. So... You're going to have to find a book, girl. Okay, just find a book. I know. Not and I right haven't now. Even... Okay, guys, we will... her brain is like... <laughs> I, I haven't even read The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, but I have all the books. <laughs> haven't read okay. them yet. Stop. 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 Okay. 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 Back we... on track. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to put her train on the track, but it's just like derailing all kinds of ways. So, we will find something that we're going to paint the four edge page for. Yes. Okay. One, and then mine, we'll... and then yours. Yeah, and then we'll come back to you and tell you so we, you're in the know. After I go probably roll some more dice for our books. <laughs> dice are our friends. Yeah. Especially these ones where it's like, mm, okay, so this number's for this. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I think so. Grab okay. your dice then. Yeah, let me Let's just... go. Okay, off. Right, bye. <laughs> so, did you find your books? I found... <laughs> <laughs> three. <laughs> Are you going to do all three? No, that's way too much work. <laughs> Especially since whenever I want to do four edge painting, I want to do top, bottom, and the front. <laughs> that would be all around the book. This is the four edge right here. Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, for our art piece, we're going to do some four edge painting for our fan art for our favorite books. And I just chose from my favorite author, Sarah J. Maas. So I'm going to do the House of Earth and Blood. And I'm going to do a crescent moon, um, some wings, and a sword. If you read the book, you'll understand where all the... And I like objects instead of... I don't want to do forage painting with people. I It'll probably either end up being landscapes for all my forage painting stuff or objects or that type of thing. I don't think I want to do people... <laughs> I don't really want to do people either. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing eyes, but that's different. Yeah. I like doing eyes. I do eyes a lot. A lot of different fantasy eyes. But anyway, I say, because... I see three books here. So, so there, since there's three, I actually, off camera, flipped a coin. The and dragon coin. The dragon coin. And this is the one who won. But I wanted to talk a little bit because 
The Host. This is my only book I like from that author. And I had plans for this one already. So next time we do forage painting, I'll just choose this one. For the obsidian one, I really like this series. I had no clue what the hell I was going to do though. So <laughs> kind of glad it got cut out of the forerunning in the first flip. <laughs> yeah, that one got but, cut out. So yeah, this one I'm going to do like a scroll because she writes letters. Mm -hmm. And I think it was more of like a diary kind of thing, but I don't want to do a book on a book. I want to do a <laughs> scroll. And then I wanted to do the tower because that's like, the main part of the book is yep. they're in a tower. The tower. Yep. And then down here, I wanted to do um, a sword against the blue sky because that's like the one of the biggest scenes that stuck out at me. Blue and against silver mm -hmm. or silver against blue was how it went. So she's very, she's like, she's got like a bunch of stuff she's going to add on hers. Mine's going to be more simple. So we're going to sketch them out, which is really hard. And heads are going to be in the way. So we'll probably show you after we get our sketches done because we're going to have to pinch them closed and then lean down like this <laughs> and get our sketches in. She She's had more experience because of all her Harry Potter books. So Yes, they all have four edge paintings. And eventually this whole bookshelf will. <laughs> As I eliminate books, I'm like, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> I don't want to do that one. I guess where all those books end up, my bookshelf. Until... I, I barely have any more room. <laughs> between Wait. books and art pieces i know but you know that's my storage area for right now well hopefully when my house is completed in like a year or two mm -hmm. long project long project yeah i will have my own library <laughs> so instead of just one bookshelf there will be walls <laughs> just walls and walls like, i'll go in there walls. and be like <laughs> all four walls will have bookshelves but it will be for art pieces and books we so. are so getting off topic <laughs> we are i'm sorry i keep so, i'm in a very rambly kind of mood are you ready to start sketching yes okay let's go okay oh. all right are you ready to paint well technically we're not painting but yeah i'm ready to do this Okay, you didn't open up nothing. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Alright, so. See the beautifulness? See, I knocked her out with my stick over there. <laughs> Just gonna try everything. <laughs> if you can't tell. Wait, I'm right handed, you're left handed. I'll just hand it to you. Well, I'm not trying to do it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Let's see if this will be in the way of cutting my teeth at the I kind of put some glue on there. Do you have a glue in your marker? Mm. Yeah, there's yours. This one would be considered gold. Yes, yes, I was. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I can feel it. I can feel your love. 
Why is he in paw print on it? There's a cat in the book. Hmm. And now it's bored. What part of the end? This isn't <laughs> Wait for Jade. Hmm. Let us confer on what this will do to this book. Yes, it is one of my favorites, but I will still read it if it looks like it's all cleaned up. That's why we're doing this for our own stuff and not selling it. Yeah, that's true. We have video issues. Okay. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. Always, always. Okay, so we finished them. And I used Batik to stain it. The reason I wanted to stain it was because I really wanted those feathers to kind of pop a little bit. And it kind of worked, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I like it. What do you guys think? Stop moving around so I really can see. <laughs> She's so bossy. All the time. Um, so I did the sword because that's Danica's sword. And then I did the wings for the angels and also for um, Hunt. And then I did the crescent for the Crescent City. So, I mean, I like it a lot. And I'm going to know exactly what book this is. Probably. <laughs> That's what I was just like. Uh, Most likely. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I did markers, and there's like a lot of different things. So, first off, there's the tower. I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. The tower, at least. Then there's the cat's paws, and his name is my lord. And then um, her writing. That's cute. I like this. Girl. I did multiple different colors because at first it was like this pale kind of color, and then I added another color, and for some reason it turned green, like a really bright green. So I was like, okay, gotta fix that a little bit. That's okay. It kind of looks like an old scroll, maybe, or something. Yeah. And then the last part is the sword in the sky. Yeah, looks good. So any thoughts on using markers? It was it was fun and it looked like it bled a lot less than like the batik because I mean I think it'd be cool to use it for like staining pages and stuff, but yeah. I don't I don't know about trying to paint with it. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to paint with it either, but staining the book colors pages look really cool. Also, using the marker for the sword is cool because it's shiny. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say it was way easier to use the watercolors than it was to use either the batik markers or the color pencils. So, if we do any more, I'm probably going to continue using watercolors because it's just easier. Oh yeah, there was a cool thing about the silver was I did the silver first and I accidentally touched blue to it and it stayed silver. So cool. <laughs> yeah, so that's that um, silver Sharpie marker. But other than that, I'm really happy with this. Though it does leak into your pages. Well, the batik did definitely. So you can see some so pages have some when, staining. Yeah, when you do your forage painting, just assume that there's going to be a little bit of a seepage. Oh yeah, I do see that with especially the silver. You've got like a three. I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but it's got like a little bit of a, a lip from the silver. But cool. 